Good morning children. Today we shall go through lesson 8 status of India and contact with foreigners during post Mauryan period. After the fall of Mauryas, a number of native Brahman rulers such as the Shungas, the Kanvas and the Satvahanas were the prominent in India. So, before moving ahead, we shall know the different dynasties in South India and their founders. The dynasties were Shunga. It was founded by Pushyamitra, Kanva by Vasudev and Satvana was founded by Simuk. Now we will know about some buildings which were constructed during the reign of Satvahanas. These were Chaityas and Viharas. Chaityas were the praying halls and Viharas were the place where the Buddhist monks resided. Let's move to the Western India. After Mauryans, some foreign dynasties came to India and settled here. Now we shall know some famous foreign dynasties of Western India and the famous rulers of these dynasties. These were as follows. Indo-Greek dynasty. The famous ruler of this dynasty was Minander. Shaka dynasty. The famous ruler of this dynasty was Rudradaman I. Pallavas. The famous ruler of this dynasty was Mahendra Varman I and last one is Kushanas and the famous ruler of this dynasty was Kanishka I. Now we shall know about the work in the field of medicine. Charak was famous court physician in the court of Kanishka I. The famous medicine book Charak Sanhita was written by Charak. Let's know some more important facts about the rulers of this age. Kanishka I introduced Shaka Samvat in 78 AD which is presently used by the Indian government and the fourth Buddhist council was held at Kundalvan in Kashmir under the patronage of Kanishka. Fourth Buddhist Council bhi Kanishka ke sandakshan mein Kundalvan Kashmir mein hui thi. And children, you must be surprised to know that the gold coins were first issued by the Kushana ruler Vima Katfisis. That's all for today children. Goodbye.